Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans, here we go. I think, I think Luke, I've sorted the internet problems, I'm hoping. Well here we go, live watch along, how are you feeling? Yeah, buzzing, got me pie, got me beer, it's like I've been at the game, so <laughs> no, it's been good, it's, uh, it's been a long while on it now with, um, with no football, so if we can, you know, we can get a bit of this, get people involved, you know, it's it's not it's not being back at the football, but certainly that interaction with fans and everyone sort of enjoying the game together. Um, that's what it's going to be all about. So hopefully people who get involved, people enjoy it. And uh, um, hopefully the precarious position I'm in, if we bag, this chair don't go flying, that laptop don't smash. So that's the main thing. <laughs> well, uh, Rovers fans, uh, we can see a few of you have joined. So thank you for joining us. Uh, this is the first watch along we've done. So we'll see how we get on. Um, Luke and I have synced up our stream seamlessly. Uh, we hope so hopefully you're getting some of the live reaction from us and um, appreciate that there might be a few delays or whatever over youtube or, or periscope or whatever so when the game starts luke and i will let you know what minute the game's at just so that you can follow um at home and, and whatever you're doing as well but the main thing we want is the interaction with you all and to enjoy the game together because i must admit on saturdays it's just been a bit lonely me watching it on an ipad not at the stadium so yeah. to expand that out uh, with Luke and, and some of the others as well, that'll be good. So we've got FM Works with us, Luke. Good to have you back, FM Works. Nice to see you again, Callum. And Alex Lomax, you are there. He's just been there as Alex's iPad on the pre-stream. And yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> the broadband seems fine at the moment, Alex. So we'll see how we get on. And RJW, you're back with us as well. You were just on the pre-stream. And Luke, Liam's asked a question for us just before this game starts. Um, would you be happy with four points from the next two games, Preston, after this? Um, yeah, so, I mean, if we can keep this unbeaten run going, then, you know, that's the main thing. Um, if we don't lose games, that's going to breed confidence. Obviously, um, the game against Preston is going to be a tough one, um, not only due to the fact that it's Preston, but also we are at home and... Uh, for all those that are local to um, the BB postcode, it's absolutely lashing down today. So if the weather continues like this all week, then uh, it's, it's not going to it's not going to be great. We we can't kid ourselves. So um, it's going to be a tough game that one. Um, but today, yeah, um, the thing that worries me a little bit is that that month to month um, up and down in form that we've had, and uh, we've had a great January, similar how we had a you know a great September, great November. So the big thing today is to to put that to bed, um, get a good result today. And I think if we do that, then the boys will have some confidence going into these next few. And uh, yeah, take four points from these next two games. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Just kick on. I think so. I think any week where you have an away game, I think if you can win your home game and then um, and win the... Uh, sorry, get a draw in the away game, win the home game, something like that. Four points is good, isn't it? But it'd be nice to get two wins. It'd be good to win this one today and take a little bit of the pressure off that Preston game, definitely. Yeah, Callum wants to see you do a stone cold Steve Austin with that beer if we score, Luke. Kind of whoop ass. I mean, so, yeah, strong ball dark fruits. Other ciders are available, so we aren't a marketing tool. Um, any cider is a good cider today. Let's um, enjoy it. I'm Fresh chilling myself out food. with this uh, <laughs> cup, cup of coffee at the moment after that bloody broadband woes just there. So uh, I might crack a beer open soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I've got, the ref. I've got the ref doing some hamstring stretches now. What about you, Ryan? Yeah, he's bouncing his ball. Yeah, 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 that's the one. So, uh, yeah, for those of you watching, that's where Luke and I are. There's a guy. He's got his white top on he's just gone left Bobble off to the right now yeah yeah and then the ref stood there strolling so that's where luke and i are on the stream so hopefully we won't ruin it for all you guys hi to scott taylor uh ethan think getting as many points as we can this month is important because the march run is ridiculous and yeah ethan um i 
think it was on the last post-match stream we did, we spoke about the points total and what to get from this month. And the game I'd love us to get, if we can get eight points from the next four and then set up that Watford game and hopefully win that Watford game, I think that'll be a good run. But beating Watford has got to be a must. Um, Luke. Watford have drawn today. I've just seen that. Watford have drawn nil-nil away at Coventry. So that's a good result for us. That's good as well. Yeah. Um, Michael and Ethan are saying that it's grim in BB5 and BB6. Yeah. I'm in uh, LN1 in Lincolnshire and it's uh, it's rainy here as well. Yeah, forgive me, lads, but I'm in BB12. So if you want to search that, you'll find out exactly where it is. And I've got to apologise for that. I was brought up in BB6, so I know exactly where you are there, Ethan. <laughs> um. Michael, momentum is everything, optimism. Yeah, it is, Michael. And we've had our fingers, we said it on pre-stream, didn't we? We've had our fingers burnt. Brentford away is always that one that sticks in the mind. So let's hope they don't let us down again. We'll see how we get on. Where's your Blackburn beer, Luke? Callum says. Wow. Well, they're expensive, them, aren't they? Like, you know, <laughs> not a chip, not, not, uh, not made of money. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, what's this one? Here we are, get another comment there. Sorry, I've got a beat it to comment. But yeah, don't worry. Quality. I yeah, like we'll it. Do a and just picking up on um, RJ's, don't forget to do a countdown to kick off so we can sync. Yes, we'll do that. RJ, just because Luke and I are novices, um, do you want us to count down or do you want us to pause so that you can all catch up? How do you want to do it? At the moment, yeah, got, got, now. got the players coming out, yeah. So Gallagher's just about to go off screen. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> so Bramfight, Travis, that's where we're at on the stream. Kaminsky, there it is. This is a good watch for Ryan. It is. I said to Charlie yesterday that the home game was where I fell in love with Kaminsky when he came steaming out his net, <laughs> getting involved with someone. I tell you what, though, we're game of two keepers as well, especially that first half because Dieng's some keeper as well. So yeah, he is certainly. Um, um, yeah, I might drop Charlie a little message just to say that we're doing our watch along as well. Um, no, yeah, well, look at me, I'm stuttering here and there. BB12 is in fact Burnley, but Andy Payton's not my neighbour. But I've got all my hands up there, boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an hour behind here. I'm an hour behind. House <laughs> <laughs> uh, prices are cheaper in Burnley. That's my only excuse. Live countdown would be better as then it's up to date with social media. Oh, it's pies going. So, Callum, do you just want us to just count down as it's about to kick off or do you want Luke and I to pause and then everyone's together? you just have to forgive us doing this for the first time. Oh, they're doing a minute. Oh, this will be Captain Tom Moore, won't it? Minute silence. Yeah. I suppose we could, um, on the referee's whistle, we could just make a bit of an announcement. game timer on so we can see where you're at because I'm just um I'm wondering Luke because I think YouTube slightly delays doesn't it I think Periscope what Alex is on is fairly up to date maybe you and I could pause our stream for maybe about 30 seconds and then yeah. hit play Does that sound like the way to do it, Callum? If Luke and I pause for maybe 30 seconds and then say, right, three, two, one, play. Is that the way to do it? Is that 
what will suit everyone. We'll just have to stay off Twitter and Sky Bet and stuff so we don't get the goals ruined. <laughs> oh no, I'll be fuming. Yeah, we'll do it. So that's what we'll do then. So everyone watching in, I think, just so that we can get over the kind of Periscope and YouTube delays, Luke and I will pause um, in a moment and we'll tell you and we'll restart so that you can play at exactly the same point as well. So we'll find a good point to pause it, Luke. Should we pause it on five seconds or something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Oh, look at him doing his little army stretches. He's up for it, this ref. Tony Harrington, go on. Yeah. So everyone watching in then, that's what we're going to do. Luke and I will pause our stream in a moment on five seconds uh, and then we'll restart it at the same time as Callum's going to do. Turn your notifications off if you don't want it ruining. It might have to be, hopefully the clock will show five seconds. <laughs> yeah, if not, we'll just, we'll go to we'll, 10. We'll go to 10, yeah. Right. Yeah. So Neat. So if it shows five loop, we'll pause. Yeah, if not, we'll pause at ten. Sounds a plan, right? Yeah, that plan. Right, it's going to be ten seconds, I think. Yeah. I think you're right. Come on, clock. Right, pause. Okay. Yeah, I've, ten. Right, I've paused, and one of the centre backs has got his left arm out. Is that what? Yo, on the, we're on the money. On the body. So, um. Callum, because you're on YouTube, let us know when you're up to that point of pausing at 10 seconds, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I need to turn my notifications off as well. Oh, I best get the banners going as well. Yeah, sheer excitement, this. It is. We'll go with the first we'll go with the first person that says get ready and then we'll hit play again but we're on 10 seconds pause luke and i if we've had an early start then we've ruined it luke i feel quite on, on. we're good yeah we're good right so everyone three, we are gonna... three two one bang there we go right enjoy lads let's go Come on. Now. tell you i'm gonna have to rein it in a bit boys <laughs> <laughs> not not usually a not usually viewing. I'm, I'm usually teetering on on getting divorced between three and five on a Saturday, and then it, it you know it picks up a bit then in the evening again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there we go. RJW cutting edge stuff there. Right. Luke and I, we are at the forefront of innovation, Luke and me. Yeah, you just want to see Ryan's broadband. <laughs> Look at it now. It's like. Someone was mugging me off, weren't they? Flawless. I reckon it was Silent Dan. Yeah, I blame Silent Dan, wherever he is. Being silent. And Jack Holmes, good to have you as well. Um, same for me, Jack. I've just been sat watching it on the iPad in the front room. And um, yeah, this makes a good difference. So what's everyone's predictions today then? We've had a few of you in the pre-match stream, but are people feeling confident? Get them in. I am. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm just going to create another banner with a score for us as well. Do do do. Yeah, they've got um, they've got a reliable keeper to be fair in in Dieng. I think it's uh, it's what we've been missing as well. And Kaminsky's bred that confidence, hasn't it, through through the team, and they seem to do the same. Like you said on some of the previous streams, it's a. Uh, it's a, it's a difficult one when you can't score the goals. I mean, it's all right keeping goals out, but when you're losing games narrowly, and that's I think that's where QPR have come unstuck really this season. Yeah, had a really tough start. I was on a I was on a stream um, with um, a couple of Championship fans a while back, and quite a few people were predicting Warburton to go at that point. I can't can't remember when it worked. Probably before Christmas, but they seem to have just picked it up a little bit, and I think a lot of that is Charlie Austin, isn't it? Yeah, well, when I was looking at those stats, um, you know, seven wins all season, and then they've had three of them since Charlie Austin's been back. So, like, yeah. he's clearly made a difference for him, clearly. And I think just when you've got a player like Austin as well, it's like 
just someone you can have confidence in, isn't it? Like, look at us with Kaminsky. As soon as you get a good keeper in the net, it just makes a difference. It's the same with Austin. They've got someone up there now they can rely on. Yeah, absolutely. And what's the early indications there? Is it looking like a box? Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. Rich Sharp tweeted, didn't he, about the box? Oh, yeah, just everyone as well. If you want to send us some pictures of what your home setup is with Luke and I and uh, and your stream, I'll take a picture of mine now. Um, I've had a slight change. Forgive the pink iPad. It was my nan's. <laughs> it's not quite a babe station, is it? <laughs> I'll send mine to Dan. So for everyone watching in, uh, are you at three minutes 30, 31, 32? That's where I'm at, Luke. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Trav. <laughs> I love this from Trav. I really do. It's uh, a house rate of the finest kind is Lewis Travis. <laughs> Autumn Penkridge has come in. What minute for Trav's yellow? He's marked his card early here, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> RJ's gone 15. Michael Pearson's gone 55. Still got Charlie, confident. Yeah. Still got some confident predictions. Stephen, 3 0 Rome. Oh, that's an early card. Who was that for? Is it for Austin? Yeah. Yeah. Stephen's gone 3 0 Rovers. Raphael 3 1. Simon Slater 2 0. Callum 3 1. Autumn 2 1. Jack 2 0. Oh. Alexander Hayden 3 1. That's, um, that's naughty from Austin, that. He's got away with one there, really. You can't do that. No. No worries, Callum. We'll let you know if um, if anything comes in. Callum's iPad's died. <laughs> You're taking, Luke's taking a risk with his iPad as well. No, I've left it on charge now. It's safe. How's <laughs> houses? I, I, I love Travis. That's what he's brought back, and he, since he's been back. Just that. Oh. Just a wind-up merchant. You love him on your team, don't you? It's like, I hate to say it, but Ashley Barnes is that kind of player, and I hate him so much, but if you have a player like that in your team, you love it, don't you? I think as a fan, like you forget like the psychology of playing football. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, have you played Sunday League as well, Luke? Just think of those yeah, players yeah. you come up against on a Sunday league pitch and you're like, I don't want to come up against them today. You just get to know them, don't you? And trap yeah. that type. You can just get we, in um, people's heads. And Ashley Barnes is the same. We were a we 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 were a group of players, we went from like 16 straight into to men's league I'm just, uh, yeah straight into men's league and um the amount of yellow cards red cards we were getting just by just old men wind up merchants that were just playing used to playing pub sunday league oh pub Oof. sunday league football and uh yeah it's um it is it is it's it's, it's, a, it's a large part of the game it's it's all that unseen stuff Got a wheel on there as well. Yeah, we did. That was dangerous pass. Ah, uh, someone's a uh, fair play to Bell there uh, doing his defensive duties. Hasn't we played it well. Oh, we're under cosh here a bit. We need to just steady the ship. Yeah, and, Alexander's. Um... They're all over us. <laughs> Bloody hell. Good from Lenny, but um, I tell you what, we have um, that's a huge chance. Todd Kane again, <laughs> he hit the post against us at Ewood, did he? I know it's you, it's, it's you, um, tempting fate with your chats with Charlie. I heard it last night again. Not good. <laughs> I said I was gonna message him as well, wasn't I? Charlie, he's a good lad, Charlie. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to have a bit of banter with the opposition fans. I love a yeah. good off. Saved by the bell. Look at that. I love that. I'll get that comment up. There we are. Saved by the bell. <laughs> he died, yeah. didn't he? Dustin Diamond died. Did he? 
Yeah, the, and what? Screech. The guy who played Screech. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, every day is a school day. There you go. Another pun on Saved by the Bell there. <laughs> Quality. Need to get our foot on the ball a bit here. Should get my bro on the pitch. There we are. Nice to have you, Raphael. Um, stick with us. We will bring you excitement, I hope. And we will a... indeed. The Rovers fans, let us know where you're all tuning in from. Raphael, are you in the UK or are you abroad? Let us know where you're all tuning in from. Country, if you want, or city, wherever you are, let us know. I'll tell you what, actually, Raphael, you abroad did have a cracking game last time out. Um, certainly, um, that would be uh, the deadline day one when he, he really looked lively. Whoever this cameraman is, he's all over the place. He's had a few more beers than me, yeah? Davenport first card. There's going to be a red in this, isn't there? Two, yeah. two yellows in the first 10 minutes. Let's have a look at that. Oof. Yeah, it's a bit of a... I'm not sure what he's doing grabbing his head there, though. I don't think it's that high. <laughs> <laughs> I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. That's annoying, though, when you get someone like Davenport booked that early, you know, because then he's on eggshells for the rest of the game, isn't he? Yeah. He loves an early booking, though. He did it last time he played. He's very much like Travis. I think they must have a little competition. So who's, Luke, have I, who's Raphael's brother, then? Have I missed something? Yeah, Serena, he plays for uh, 23s. He was playing on uh, oh, Monday. Of course. It's me being thick. Sorry, Raphael. Full back. Um, unfortunate the other night, actually. That was some, some scoring game, that. Ten goals in a game. <laughs> <laughs> that is FIFA stuff. So, um, I can see here, Rich is watching from Leeds. He's not got the game on, just watching us and Sky Sports News. Good to have you, Rick. Um, then we've got Raphael from Blackburn, of course. Callum from Blackburn. Terence from Swindon. Must, Simon must, in Oldham. Terence must have followed Charlie Austin in his early days. <laughs> but if any of you aren't watching, let us know. Luke and I can do a bit more description if you need us to, let you know what's going on. But um, QPR touch, have man. been pretty dangerous so far. So that's what you need to know, Rick. Got in behind us a couple of times. Amari Bell made a decent clearance at the back post. And there's been two early bookings as well. One for Charlie Austin and one for Jacob Davenport. Um, I, must, I must say as well, I don't know if he's, don't know if he's um, played the clever more, but with having, having Gallagher up there, because I think Gallagher's height might prove, you know, pr prove a masterstroke um, with, um, with Armstrong, because Armstrong certainly had a lot of joint last game. Both his goals came from, from playing off the shoulder, and obviously that is how he plays, that's how he scores his goals. So um, I think he'll have some joy against his back three. Yeah. I'm just trying to work out the formation as well. I've not seen whether it's a box yet. Has anyone worked out whether it's a box formation yet? Look, Looks that way, but then I don't know... Harvey Elliott seems to be playing quite four 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 like five forward in between the two as well. So Yeah. Interesting. We've had a um so I think we've had a picture of someone sharing their setup. Let's have a look. I'll bring it up here. Nice. Simon Pro Yes, we love it. Look at you, Luke, on that picture. Oh, well, look at that nose profile. Lovely. <laughs> Good to have you, Simon. We've got a few um, few more Autumn Penkridge in Stafford. RGW in Cambridge. They're like me. Every day is an away game. I'm in Lincoln, yeah. or just, out, just outside Lincoln. And it's right, he looks a player as well that I'm a DR law, to be fair. It's been all QPR in the early stages, I'm afraid. 
Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, their pitch doesn't look great either, does it? Particularly down no. this near side. Looks a bit bare. In, in the sunny south. <laughs> Quite a fitty game so far. It's a bit stop start, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking a few niggly fouls, isn't there? You can see it, like you say, there's a chance of a red card in this game. Certainly a few more yellows before we're finished. It's really bizarre. It looks like Harvey Elliott's playing down the middle. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mari. Hoping he could get on a run there. Yeah. And our two forwards are really quite wide when yeah, we attack. It's like a wide box formation, isn't it? Yeah. Where, like narrow in the middle, wider out wide. Elliot's definitely central, though. Yeah. It's like he's matching up their three centre backs. I think with them, with Armstrong, Elliot, Gallagher is like a three against their three at the back. It's not a bad shout, like, actually. It's gonna be a. I mean, it's looking like a game of little chances so far. Well, but for that early flurry from QPR. We'll have to start cracking some jokes. <laughs> yeah. You were going to put out one. What's your favourite type of bird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big fan of a great set and not a, you know, <laughs> always partial to a common shag. <laughs> gone oh oh first chance uh rick for nyambi just getting down that right hand side there um michael just coming in here luke are we cautious or just setting base i'd like to think we were just setting base um we seem to have uh what's that guys so yeah free kick i didn't realize it was a free kick got a dangerous free kick here no, I didn't realise that actually. Um, no, I think maybe we're just um, weathering an early storm and just work, working QPR out, I think, because it's a very different QPR than we played last time with his five at the back. So, oh, easy to take. Yeah, definitely different. Um, they're definitely more confident. I think, um, Michael, I think Luke's right. I think we've been taken a little bit by surprise with the first 10 minutes. So I think we're just trying to find our feet a little bit. So I want to see us get on the ball a bit. I don't think I've seen us really string too many passes together yet. Mm. Hopefully we can just get control of the ball a bit. Like, I mean, so Rothwell is doing that. I mean, I just want him to get that ball down and let's keep yeah. possession and boot it down the pitch. We are being very poor with possession in the early stages. I think you know most people that are watching the game will, will think the same thing. We're not we're not holding the ball very well at all. Oh, well done. And Trav and Kaminsky knew what they were doing there. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> but again, that lovely little bit then from from Travis made it made it look cool. But um, you know, boot the ball at the top, and we we can't make it stick at the moment. No. Very much one of them games. Go on then, Ryan. Give us your favourite joke. It's one of them games at the moment. My favourite joke. Um, yeah, you, I, you must have a go to. Honestly, some when I used to go, like there's a lad in Lincoln who also supports Blackburn, and he used to have me in stitches with one-liners. He's like the king of the one-liner. <laughs> I just need to like I need to remember some of the ones he's told me. Um what do you call a lady with one leg? Go on. Eileen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What was another one? Went to a wedding of two TV aerials. It was a cracking reception. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm laughing. I really am. <laughs> Honestly, like, he just, I'm meant to be driving and he's just reeling out these one liners. And I'm like on a motorway trying to keep her like a straight because you know me, like, stuff sets me off laughing easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, he used to have me with those. So Gallagher's winning the medals. But again, nothing sticking. No. I think the wing backs are helping them at the moment. Like Todd yeah. Kane 
over the like you can see the space they've got. He's in here because now okay, and you can see it right now. Yeah. Right, just keep try and keep the ball. So like that, I just this game plan, yeah. I don't know why why is Dara lumping that down the line? I just want us to keep the ball a bit. I don't know what the game plan is with that. It's not how we've been playing. It's not how we've been playing at all. We've we've been playing a possession game, haven't we? So I don't yeah. know why we've reported to a who fairly does it. It's it's bizarre. Practicing for the Preston game when we've got a terrible pitch. <laughs> like here, get your foot on it. Look. Free kick there, no? Come on, ref. Dan's pulling us up on our jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you have no got... authority here, Rovers chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no authority at all. <laughs> oh. Oh, we've got another one here. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't trust the owls at Machu Picchu. I reckon they're all in cahoots. Yeah, clever, clever. An educational one, Simon. All very good yeah. news. Better than my <laughs> lowbrow, what do you call the lady with one leg? <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my, go, my go-to one's a shocker as well. Very, uh, very much a dad joke. Why did the um? Oh, here we are. Why did the baker have brown hands? I don't know. Because, because he needed a poo. <laughs> Shocker. On, get... That's got to be a free kick. It's all over. Him. Another booking, oh. that is it. Three bookings in nineteen minutes. Be all right for a cards about this. It's, um... Hopefully, Luke and I are keeping everyone entertained. But if you're still with us, Rovers fans, let us know what you think of the game so far. What do you think of the Rovers' first 20 minutes? I hope that we're entertaining you a bit. Oh, see, you're in on that one, Callum Robinson. I like it. Oh. <laughs> It. That would have been a goal of the season contender, that one. Well, yeah, certainly a goal of the year contender in early February. QPR and Nick in Rovers chat fun. Look at that scoreboard. Oh, yeah. Dan, Word. get on to him. Words need to be had. Silent Dan, you know. They've nicked, your score, but they've nicked the fun. <laughs> Silent Dan needs to be not silent on this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we can be of assistance, Raphael, on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not a, a high scoring under 23s game, that's for sure. The writing was on the wall earlier when my internet was going silly. Should have known. Yeah. This better not be nil nil. I was having a I was having a look actually at our history against QPR and we haven't lost. I'm I'm gonna oh here we are that's a dangerous free yes. kick nice here we go this Barry is, this, is gonna be yeah <laughs> Douglas is gonna be raging with this mate like first <laughs> game he's not available look where this free kick is it's gonna be like, I've not had one of them all season unbelievable <laughs> isn't it yeah sorry mate I spoke over you no no I just we we haven't lost at Q at QPR since 1993 in the first season in the Premier League, which is, uh, well, other than the 2019 one, we had that one loss before that. It was 1993. Yeah, um, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Um, it's just one of them teams. I mean, there's a lot of draws in there, but... Um, Who are we fancying for the free kick, then? It's going to have to be Ivy, this, isn't it? Or is it oh, I mean, it looks like he wants it, but then he's a man that wants to score goals, isn't he? He's, uh, he's hungry for it. This is similar to the Leeds one last season, isn't it? Come on. Laptop's going here, lads. Let's go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's some keeper in, to be fair. Yeah, good shot stopper. Really good shot stopper. He's got a cross well to that. He's couldn't have done yeah. much more of that. 
I think, to be honest, even if that was in the postage stamp, the end saves that. Yeah. He seemed to got up really well there. Not some limbs on him, on you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, giving the foul. But yeah, that armour free kick there, he, um, he obviously banged that one against Leeds last season, didn't he? Post lockdown. Yeah. So, similar position, that one. QPR stopped our title challenge in 94. Not that I hold grudges. Yeah. I don't remember that one, Michael. I remember the, the one where we won 1 0. I think Chris Sutton scored in the title winning season, but I can't remember the one the season before. What was the score? So for those of you not watching the game, Rovers just slowly getting into the game now, but we're not really having too much of the possession football that we've seen. We're kind of just staying a bit more resolute at the back, but um, it's not a game of too many chances so far, but Armstrong did just have a free kick there, which Dieng did well to tip over the post, uh, tip over the crossbar. And then Davenport had a, a volley from outside the box, which just went over, which would have been a goal of the season contender. Beacons were flashing, worldy incoming. Oh, as RJ sent a picture, let me have a look. Sorry, RJ, I'll load that one. There it is. Good setup, that RJ. Good setup. Love Better it. My cold garage. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like the um, I like the TV stand. It's an IKEA piece, that I believe. I think I've got the same one. <laughs> I'm not to know how people get it on telly. It always blocks me from screen, sh um, like screen sharing or whatever it is. Yeah, I have problems with the telly as well. You got what phone you got? Mine's a Samsung. iPhone, me. Your iPhone. Yeah, people. I, I've had people be able to do it on Android, and I, I can't. It winds me up to watch it on a little screen, squinting away. Oh dear. Oof. Well done, Bramford. Big chance for uh, for QPR then. So they got down our uh, right hand side again, past Nyambi, ball across, and then Bramford, a bit similar to Omari Bell earlier, just managed to clear it from inside the six yard box. Well, yeah, they've had a couple of them getting in behind. Oh dear, that has been a feature of today, just getting it away. Yeah. Lots of kind of hoof clearances and chipping it down the line. We don't. We haven't really. I mean, we've had that free kick and, and the Davenport half chance. We haven't really looked like scoring here. Mowbray looks like he's thinking the same thing there. I've only just noticed that little marquee thing over some... Have you seen that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look near the halfway line. I don't know what that is. Keeping him dry. <laughs> When it goes back towards the halfway line, it looks brilliant. Perfect game this for Charlie Austin, isn't it? A man that used to build walls coming up against Bramthwaite, one that moves. <laughs> I like it, Luke. Yeah. I'd already, I'd already eyed that one up yesterday. I thought, I've got to squeeze that one in somewhere. So there it is. <laughs> there it is. Look, you can see that little marquee. Looks good. <laughs> yeah. All uh, oh, right, some people are meant some people um logging on the TVs maybe and plugging it into the laptop as well. Yeah, mine just seems to block it. So laptop HDMI, that's the way forward. It's the future. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Whether the wife will let me do that or not, I don't know, but time will come. <laughs> I'm saying that. I think she's sat football. Go on. Hopefully we're still in sync, Luke. What minute are you on on your stream? What minute and second? 27.20. Yeah, same. 22, 23, 24. Yeah, sounds good. 
Final ball. Let's have a bit of possession in the final third. Not seen too much kind of good possession in the final third yet, are we? Just no. been a bit of a lump. We earned the free kick and stuff, but just want to play in their half a little bit. The rain's coming down in uh, LN1 now. <laughs> it's uh, it's never stopped in in in, in you know, BB12. I'll whisper it next time, that I think, actually. Here we go. Chance. Oh, lovely. Oh, Keep it. That's better, just not rushing it, really. Ivy Elliott's final ball's not been not been like Harvey Elliott today. Oh, Trav. What was the minute in the... Here we go. Uh, I think... Is no, he won it? it? No. That's oh, good. Good lad, Trav. It was 15 anyway. That's long gone. Good boy, Trav. <laughs> that's better, Harvey. That's miles better. I think I prefer us doing this in a game like this just to not, not rush it and not try and force it. Ah, uh, there again. It's been a few a few passes like that from Harvey today. Yeah. So the rain coming down definitely wobbled my Wi-Fi there, Luke. I was getting worried. Oh yeah, can you you are you are lagging a bit now. You're on, <laughs> you're on show. Stay with us, Ryan. Please stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. I don't want to kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ima. Corner ball. Can you hear me all right now? Yeah, yeah, you're good now. Good. You shouldn't be streaming other videos on your phone, Ryan. It's not doing it good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on now? I'm about, I'll tell you when I'm at 30 minutes. I'm at 30 minutes now. Oh, I'm a few seconds behind you. I'll get this corner out way and then I'll refresh. I can always pause just very briefly. I oh, don't mind. I'll chat rather than getting us further behind. Sounds like Harry Chapman's bagged another worldie. Gareth Devlin. Um, Gareth, if we started, uh, QPR were, were quite um, quick in the start. They got in behind us a little bit. They had a couple of chances, um, one in particular where they got down our right-hand side in behind Nyambi. And pulled it across and Amari Bell made a good clearance and we just couldn't seem to get any possession, Gareth. Um, and a definite feature of today is we seem to be just going longer with it. I'll just... Oh, he's given off side. Um, we seem to be just be going a bit longer with the ball, Gareth. Seems to be a bit more hoofing. Not too much possession in the centre of the park and not seeing that possession football that we usually see. But the last kind of 10 minutes or so, we're at 31 minutes now, last kind of 10 minutes, we've seemed to have just rode a little bit of the storm from QPR and seemed to be a bit more in it, but we haven't really made any chances or played much in their half. So um, they've got a corner now. So not a perfect Rovers performance by any stretch. Give me a heads up when you're at 32.30, Ryan. Okay, mate. I'm at 31.45 at the moment. I'm hoping that everyone else, you're kind of with where I am on the stream. It'll be my internet, the bloody thing. Yeah. Spoiler alert, lads. It's still nil nil at 32.30. <laughs> so have you just whizzed forward and you're just going to restart when I get to it? Yeah, yeah. I am um, just re refresh the stream. Right, nearly there, Luke. Now. Lovely. Kaminsky's just got all of it, throwing it out. Happy days. Yeah, and now that's it's... it. There you go. 
And now it's buffered. Oh. <laughs> Go oh what a chance. Get it to 33 minutes, Luke. Elliot's just had a huge, huge chance there for those of you not watching. Uh, Armstrong got down the left, in behind their right centre back, pulled it back to Harvey Elliott, who how far out is he here? Penalty spot, just in yeah. front of the penalty spot, and he's scooped it over the bar. Big, big chance there for, for Harvey Elliott. I'm at 33 30 now. Press yeah. Pause. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, now. Yeah, big eight. chance for Harvey Elliott there. Did you see that chance, Luke, or was it buffering? Yeah, yeah just, no, I just got it. I, I, I went back 30 seconds and, and got it. It were a, yeah, a huge chance. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the type of game where Rovers are going to have to score first. Oh, happy days, Michael Pearson. That's that's made a man happy today. Sounds like Burnley are getting beat. I think I heard that, actually. I heard the screams, all the fans. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Hopefully all of you lot are um, you're still with us on the stream. We are just about to come up to 34.20 now is where we're at 34.20. So I hope that my internet and some of Luke's buffering hasn't caused any problems. Let us know when you're at 40, Ryan, and I'll check. Yeah. 34, 40. No. Just seem to have upped the pace a little bit now, Rovers, in the last couple of minutes. Uh, yeah. Amari Bell definitely more advanced as well, which is good. I think, I think this... Um... I think Amari Bell's actually had a decent game so far. Defensively, he hasn't looked too too insecure either. He, he made that that early early interception slash clearance, and yeah, getting forward well. Yeah, today. He did. yeah, and um, we'll just get past this chance before the game. I just highlighted no Douglas next to Branthwaite as a bit of a concern, yeah. but to be fair to Branthwaite and Bell, they've both done that clearance from inside the six yard box, haven't they? So, um, yeah. yeah, done all right. Oh, that first I bench Dolly Watkins. I bench oh, Dolly Watkins in my dream team didn't, today. Didn't, I bench Matty Cash. It's a clean sheet. I was, I was weighing up how to do my dream team today. Um, I was thinking of bench boost, but then I've got Mitchell, who doesn't seem to be playing again now. So no. I didn't want to do bench boost for two players. But, um, yeah, I went Antonio and Bamford. Got Antonio in there. Then again, don't take any tips from me. I've had an absolute shock of this season. <laughs> I knew it would happen, though, if I bench Watkins. Just knew it. Yeah, I'm too loyal. I'm too loyal. I stuck with Aubameyang for months. You still got Aubameyang? No, no, I took him out now, but I stuck with him. I must have stuck with him for the first three months. I knew it, when you take it's him out, he'll buy that. Oh, yeah. I lost a million on him. Wow. Oh, Todd Kane. Oh. Yeah, Amari Bell just got caught out there, lads, for those of you not watching. So a bit of a high ball towards that left-back area and he just lost the flight of it and Kane got in behind him. Uh, led to the cross going in the box, but now we've got it. Kaminsky's launched it upfield. Can we get on this? No. Nope. There's something about that area in front of QPR's back three at the moment. I just don't think we're in that space enough. No. Not at all. Um, Dan, if you're still watching, is the Rovers chat Fantasy Premier League a private league or public? I think it's public, but um, let us know, Dan, in the comments. I think he, Dan runs it. What minute are you on now, Ryan? 37, 36, 37, 38. 
39-40. Right, I'm way ahead then. Just skip to, skip to go live for some reason. Don't tell us any score then if you know it. <laughs> oh, no. You won't believe it, it's 7-0. <laughs> I'm a, at 38 now. Right, I've stopped okay. on 38. 38.45, so let us know when it's uh, when it's okay. back. Is everyone else's stream synced with mine, at least? I think Luke's has been going up and down a bit, but is everyone else managing to follow the game with Luke and I? I think half of it's my fault, because I keep trying to get it exact, and I'm just being a, being a bit of a fool. Being a fool! We're trying to have a Zoom meeting here, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 45 yet? Not yet. In far three, two, one, play. Happy days. That's good, Happy. Karen. Thanks for confirming that, mate. When the rain came down here, it seemed to just wobble my internet just slightly, <laughs> but um, I'm back online. <laughs> um. But yeah, for those of you not watching, QPR did just have a corner then, and we did our we got it away just, but we looked a little bit shaky. We did say it before the uh, the stream though, didn't we, Luke? That we've got options on the bench, so yeah, players like Dak and Dolan and Brierton can hopefully come on and make a difference for us. Wouldn't yeah. surprise me if he did get rid of Davenport with him on his booking. Um, we'll see what happens though. We've got some real strength in depth now. I think that's something we've spoke about all season. We've just never had the opportunity to see it until the last couple of weeks. Um, if you can call upon a Dolan, for, perhaps, in a game like this and really change change how we're playing and try and drive down that channel, um, I think it could, could have some success. I expect you to call upon Dolan at some point. Oh, I'm yeah. as unlucky as well. Hi, Matthew. Good to have you along, mate. Let us know if you're watching along live on iFollow or if you're just um, listening to mine and Luke's ramblings and we'll describe the game as best we can for you, mate. Um, Rovers did just have a good chance there, though. It was a good crossfield pass, I think, from Travis over uh, onto our left-hand side and then Armstrong eventually got the ball, started running towards the goal and just dragged a shot a couple of yards wide of the left post. But it seems to just be scoring oh, a bit into the left. Oh. Corner for Rovers now. Ah, Matthew's in Singapore. Do you, oh, want to send us, do you want to send us a tweet, Matthew? Uh, send it to the Rovers chat account. Let us know what setup you've got. Or on Facebook. It looks like you're on Facebook there, so that'll do as well if you want to send us a picture. Oh. Corner's just been cleared away by QPR. Travis starting the attack again. And we're going all the way back. Kevin's just listening to us. Good to have you along as well, Kevin. We appreciate your support across all our shows. Chance for Rovers here. Ooh. Just starting to look a bit more dangerous now, Kevin, um, and others who aren't watching. Little threaded ball through to Gallagher. Just got in behind on the right-hand side. Pulled it across into the QPR box, and they just cleared it away. We see, like now, Luke, we've got possession in their half. You know, this yeah. is what we've not done all game. We're just starting to pass it about a bit. And this is what we do well. So I think it's been it's been coming. We need to Oh that were a, in fact that were a Gallagher headed very similar to the one that he scored uh, four years ago when we, we drew one all at their place. That yeah. loopy that he seems to get under the ball and uh just get it over over and down. Um it's a it's a good it's a good chance to be fair that. He's done he's done well, it's it's, it's not an easy chance, but it's a good chance. We um, unsurprised. Well, at least at least we're starting to play now. We're starting to get a bit of a, a rhythm going because, uh, unsurprisingly, we haven't scored in the first half again. But we do have three minutes left, so um, only takes only takes a second in football for things to change. Yeah, they are causing us problems in that final third, though. When they do get in there. That right-hand side in particular, I don't know yeah. why. 
because Gallagher is someone who works hard down that right side. So, can't, oh, here we go. Who's on the left? Oh. Go on, Harvey. Go on. Um, did you see how much space Armour was in on that other side? Yeah. He just, he just got away with QPR there, to be fair. Uh, last ditch. Go on, Galley. Galley's having some success, actually. Yeah. Well, we did. Charlie, the QPR fan, did point out their left side as the weakness with Lee Wallace. So we need to try and get in behind him a bit more. Like this, you know, this area. Oh. oh. He's, um, he's getting involved quite a bit in the air, Gallagher, today. And, uh, yeah. We haven't seen that from him, and that's something that we have wanted to see. I tell you what, Nyambi's Nyambi's done really well to drag that back, hasn't he? That yeah. cross. It's a, yeah, it's at some pace that he's done it on you know first time. He's not to touch. He's on the stride. So yeah, Rovers fans who you know the ones who aren't watching. So Lenihan just pinged a little clip ball over Lee Wallace's head in the left-back area and it looked like it was going to go out but Nyambi managed to retrieve the cross on the half volley, crossed it in and, and Gallagher got up well but um, it wasn't an easy header for him. I yeah, think half-time going to come. I think, um, yeah, Simon, I think it might but I think I'm looking forward to maybe just a slight tweak in the formation maybe. But we are looking very bright now, as as Michael says. But it's just good to see the possession in this half now. It's just it was too much kind of clearances and lump ball at the start. But we're looking back to ourselves in an attacking sense now. Another corner for Rovers, so that's good. Niambe is getting into his rhythm now, getting forward a little bit, having some joy. Um, yeah, like said Ryan earlier, the the right side, the, the, it seemed to be. Our weakness, they seem to be attacking down there quite well, and it's it's our stronger side, really. Um, with um, with with Elliot and Nyambe, but um, he's just starting to have some success now. Nyambe and getting forward, they're just uh, I don't know what it's been really. It's just been a, just not got any rhythm, not got any momentum going down there. I guess no. But Gallagher's very central. Um, no, he's a. Uh, but it, I just don't like how, how far apart him and Armstrong are. I think if he, he's winning a lot in the air, and I think if them two were a bit closer, Armstrong might get a little bit more of the ball in, in the areas that he wants to be in. Armstrong is noticeably left as well. He's hanging yeah. that side. You know, look, that, that's Elliot there. You know, Armour's right on that other side. That's a fair comment. Yeah, it is. And um, Alex, I think at the start, we'll just let QPR have this chance cleared away by Lenihan after a crossing. We'll just stick with football. Is that your Hansen? Ball. Oh, there we go. Kaminsky's got it. But yeah, Alex, at the start of the game, I think it was too much of the, the direct footy. But we seem to have just struck that balance now, as you say. And we seem to be having that possession where we need to. So noticeably better in this last five to ten minutes. Kaminsky's going to get that, is he? Yeah, well done. So it's looking like we're going to take this one into nil-nil at half-time, which is a... Yeah, gonna... another game with that first half goal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, spot soon. Yeah. <laughs> Just as the words left your mouth, that chance yeah. developed. So, uh, yeah, Oh, on again. Oof. It's not gone. What's he given? Oh, half no, time. No, time. The half time. So, those of you who um, weren't watching QPR, just it's a little dangerous then in that last minute after Luke Kimberley gave the kiss of death. So, um, the first shot was a drag shot from QPR, one of them where you kind of scuff it and it hits someone in the center of the, the box. They didn't quite manage to control it and the chance was cleared away. But then they got down the right-hand side, put a cross in and um, Charlie Austin was complaining too much about potentially fouling Nyambi and, and we got it away. Um, Alex Lomax struggled first 10 but really grew into the game. Yeah, we did, Alex, didn't we? Just seemed to start having possession of the ball in that fight in the QPR half, which was good to see. 
So, um, Luke, you and I are going to go and replenish our drinks, aren't we? So we will be back probably in about five minutes. So stick with us, get yourself a, a drink, a brew, whatever. So, Luke, should we be back on it in five minutes' time, like 57, 58? Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. So we've got a nice little, uh, nice little overlay that we'll bring up. So we'll be back with you in about five minutes, Rovers fans. So get yourself a drink, get yourself some lunch, whatever you're doing, food, whatever. And we will be back. Stick with us for goals, boys. Yeah, see you in a bit.
We're back. Hello, boys. So, Rovers fans, Rovers fans, how did you find that? Off? I've got some bread and some couscous loop left over from last night's pizza. Well, living the dream. <laughs> we had like pizza and like pasta and salad and stuff, so I've got the leftover couscous. Sounds very Mediterranean. Yeah, it does. Very posh on the uh, the northeast coast. Northeast coast. Well, Midlands East. <laughs> South East. I don't want to call you Southern. I you know that you know Lincolnshire like to be you know Northern. It's funny, you know, because um, I think you can like plot the North South divide in Lincolnshire. <laughs> I think of a place like Scunthorpe. Would you say that that's northern or southern? I, I'd say anything below me is southern, but Scunthorpe, they like to be northern, don't they? So I believe. Like yeah. Grimsby. And then I think, and that's not far from where I live, but then I think mm -hmm. of a place like Lincoln, that's not northern. So the line is somewhere between Lincoln and, and Scunthorpe. I have a mate in Louth, and he, he definitely uh, describes himself as a northerner, one of my best mates. So. Uh, yeah. A few questions. Right, we'll, just, we'll just pick up these comments. So Robert Adams playing well, just need a goal. Took us a while to start playing, I think, Robert, yeah. but eventually we started to have some possession in that uh, QPR half. Mr. Concept, Travis has been quality so far. Should at least be one nil up with that Elliot chance. That was a big, big chance for Harvey Elliott. That's our most clear cut one. Um, poor first half. Matthew Burt Whistle, how did you guys find the first half? So, Luke, how did you find it? Come to you first before me. Really slow start. Really slow start indeed. We, we, we let QPR come. We um, caused ourselves a few early problems. Um, maybe weathered an early storm, um, let's say. Didn't concede again, which is you know it's promising because in early games, I think the way we played... Um, We'd have conceded. There's no doubt about it. So that, that that's reassuring, absolutely. And the fact that we we can weather that early storm, um, it is good because then we kicked on in maybe the last, but well, second half of the second half of the first half, and um, certainly the last 15 minutes, we we looked a lot better and and we had a few chances. Um, maybe lucky not to concede at the very end of the half again, but on the whole, wasn't too bad. And let's just hope we come out a little bit more like we finished the half rather than how we started it. Yeah. Good to have Joe with us. Hope you're doing well. Joe. Hope you enjoyed doing your badges this morning. Um, so that's good. But would you take the point now? I certainly would. Um, it's one of them, Joe, where because we haven't scored in the first half again, I'm not getting too concerned, but it's like we've seen these Rovers games in the past, haven't we, where it is nil-nil at half time, and then we get that sucker punch. But... I'm quite reassured by the options off the bench. And if we can just start that second half like we ended it in the first, I could see us going on and winning. But um, we did say before the game, Joe, that four points from the next two, if we drew today and beat Preston, you probably take that. So if a draw today means we're going to beat Preston, then maybe. What about you, Luke? Yeah, like I said earlier on in the stream, I'd, uh, I'd set that. I think if we can, if we can pick up the three today... I'd be a lot more reassured because uh, given that it's going to be on Friday, um, it's Friday night, it's on Sky and uh, like I said, the state of the pitch is likely to be in. Um, it's going to be a, a pretty tough, scruffy game, um, very much a derby. Um, so so for me, I'd, I'd, I'd like to go into that game not, not feeling like we need three. Yeah. Joseph Lane, how has Bramthwaite played? He's looked OK. Um yeah. Before the game, Joseph, I was a bit worried with him not having Barry Douglas next to him and the experience and the kind of teaching and coaching that he can do within the game. But Bramquake's been all right. And he made one pretty crucial clearance, actually, when the ball was pulled across our six-yard box. But, um, yeah, he's done OK so far. Um, Rovers haven't really built out from the back like you've seen us do in recent games. Um, so we've not seen too much of that from Bramquake. But, yeah, he's been solid enough. And... Um, yeah, 18 years old. He's looking all right. Thank you, Steve Ward. Love this, lads, and love the content. We love bringing you the content, Steve. Genuinely, genuinely love doing this stuff. That's why I come and plank myself in this freezing garage every Saturday. <laughs> Always morning. <laughs> 
Luke, do you think that uh, Charlie Austin should have got a red or yellow card for kicking Travis in the face? Yeah, I thought he was a lucky boy. I said it at the time. He's gonna, he absolutely got away with one there. I don't think you can you can't do that. Um certainly reacting the way he were, you know, rolls his hands to to, um, to Travis as well. Um been a lucky boy. Um we've certainly got under Charlie Austin's skin today. I think he's finding himself a frustrated figure trying to get past the the wall of Lennihan and Bramfway, and let's hope it continues like that. Ethan James, personally, I think a player like Dak is needed today. Looks like we need a link between midfield and attack right now. Yeah, Ethan, I noticed that. I think as Mowbray's tried to match up Elliot, Gallagher and Armstrong against their back three, I said to Joe that it was that space just in front of the QPR back three that we weren't occupying too much. So maybe that could come on and be dangerous from within that position. So let's see what happens if Dak does come on. Abi Sahar, for me, Bell is not taking up positions Douglas does, which is stopping us from getting an extra man in the box in offence. Yeah, Luke, um, Barry Douglas, to his credit, I think I remember it. Luton away is one game where I remember it. There was Stoke away where he hit the post. He is an offensive um, force, Barry Douglas, isn't he? And we didn't see it until the end of the first half with Amari Bell, did we? No, I think um, he, he did get forward a little bit. I was quite surprised that uh, Amari Bell... Did that, and I don't think he's had a, a bad game at all. But I think he just needs that confidence to to get in them positions. Because when he does get in them positions, you know, he, 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 we, we've seen him do that at Fleetwood. He, he's, he's a very capable attacking fullback, and we just haven't seen enough of it in a Rover shirt at all. Yeah, I've somehow managed to eat some bread and couscous live on the live stream. I'm feeling proud. Yeah, it's not steak pie though, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I just had to raid what I could get in the available window of opportunity between the pre-stream and now. <laughs> and after, all the in, after all the internet woes of earlier, I didn't have a chance to eat properly. Um, Michael, will we ring the changes at 60 minutes again? Tony's Tom Boulder. Um, Davenport, I think, will do well to last the game today, Michael. I think on that yellow card, Mowbray will look at that one. Um yeah, he might do four changes at once. He might do three. Let's see. But I think we all agree that there's options there to change the game. I think he's, we're going to see him go 4-3-3 at some point. And I think it's a game for Dolan. I, I really do. I think Dolan will find himself very unfortunate not to get on. And if he does get on, I can see it being a game that can make a real, real difference there. Kevin's pulling me up. I forgot my napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not on my face, Kevin. And... Um, Joe, John Brown in Rothwell hasn't made much of an impact. So, um, do you want to see some more from Rothwell in this game? I'd agree. We haven't seen a lot of him at all, have we? There were times in the first half where you picked up on it, where you'd, you'd like to see him maybe take the ball and go on that you know, driving run from deep, and, and he didn't. He, he played a long ball, we lost possession. So, um, let's hopefully see a little bit more from Rothwell. Um like you said, I think if we can just get the ball in, in their half and, and play, um, you know, final two thirds attacking possession football and, and try and, you know, break them up and play a bit of football, not not rush things. We, we, you know, we're capable of uh, breaking this side down today. They, they don't, you know, they don't look great defensively. There's certainly, um, there's certainly opportunities there to break through. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So, Rovers fans watching in, if you need me and Luke to do anything with restarting the stream or whatever, let us know in the comments now. But I've just left my stream going since we yeah. did everything earlier. So, Luke, I'll let you know when I'm at 46 minutes so that we're yeah. still in sync. So, yeah, so if everyone, if anyone's on it now, pause it at 46 and we'll let you know when we're at 46. Five, four, three, two, one, four. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do, this, do the same again in a minute just to make sure. So if anyone's now at 47 or 48, maybe just uh, just pause it on the minute and we'll let you know when we're at 47 or 48 as well, um, just yep. on the next few minutes. And then it gives everyone a chance to catch up, I guess. Good plan. Um, so Eugene agreeing with you there, Luke. Dolan, 
with his trickery could win us a penalty. So yeah, it's got the uh, the feeling of a game where it could be just the one big chance or the one set piece or whatever. They're um they're quite slow, especially with the their uh, three three um centre halves. So I think if Dolan can get in behind, I absolutely think we've got a the opportunity to win a penalty or something. We just need to get in the box a little bit more. It's just not happened today. Um as much as we you know we'd like to, I guess. So forty seven minutes now. Yeah. There we go. Well remember, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, please stop talking, Luke. I need to say yeah. that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a line from the, the Hanford Parish Council meeting that could have been uh, pulled out at that point now. <laughs> That's true, actually. Oh. Chance? Yes. Oh. Big chance there for those of you not watching in. So um, I don't know who's played that through ball. We'll get the replay now. Let's have a look. Oh, Dara. The Dara Lenihan special through ball in behind the centre back, the central centre back as well. Armour's got in on it um, about 20 yards out. He's fired the shot straight at Dieng. Um, probably could have finished that better, actually. He's gone for power rather than placement. And then Amari Bell, I think that was, who's just had a, a shot <laughs> straight into at, Dieng's arms. Looked to be coming in off the right as well. So I was a bit confused then. I was like, is that Amari Bell? <laughs> 48 um, minutes now. 48 yeah. 01. 03, 04, 05, 06. We're good. So hopefully that uh, sorted everyone's streams out there. Sorry, Luke. Yeah, I'll say this. If anyone is behind, just put it in the comments and we'll we'll try our best. Um, no, I was going to say as well on, on Lenihan's, um, the I mean, that's perfect timing for that comment, actually. Um, I'll bring that up. Uh, on Lenihan's distribution, um, if everyone is a shout out to to um to Joe Harvey, if anyone can have a look at his Rovers analytics page, he's done a little piece on on Doral and him actually, and it's it's quite insightful for for how good he is um, in terms of you know playing attacking balls and a absolutely integral to the way we want to play out from the back. So a, a really really good graphic that he's got there. So if if everyone wants to have a look at that, um definitely worthwhile. And for those of you that don't follow Joe, that's at Analytics Rovers, um, and it comes up as Rovers Analytics on Twitter. But um, Joe does some great stuff on his channel there, really yeah. good stuff. He's um, he's formatted it like um, sort of a football manager type profile of, of Doral and him, so it's really easy to just see just how how impressive he is, um, you know, playing out from the back and playing them attacking ball for us as well. So, yeah. Um, Integral part of what we do, actually. I think we, I think Joe's right. We have maybe underestimated Dora Lenihan in the, um, in the previous months, but it's not the part of play that we. Actually... I'm probably one of Lenihan. Maybe I've been harsh on Lenihan as well because I just look. At, he's been at us a long time now, obviously mm -hmm. through our academy and stuff, and he's captain. And I just, I guess it's that captain kind of like leadership stuff that I want to see out of him a bit more and. Maybe he does do it and we just don't see it on the pitch, you know, because the camera's not panned there or whatever. But, um, you know, always really happy to see statistical stuff to yeah, back it up. You know, yeah, to back up, you know, my wrong opinion. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Burt Whistle, what do you think of Bell? So, you know, it's been hard for Amari Bell, hasn't it, Matthew at Rovers? Uh, we'll just wait one second. Thought we might have got in behind there. Um, been hard for Bell. He's. He obviously came in with you know a pretty decent reputation. He was in the team of the year, I think, at Fleetwood in League yeah. One. So I think we were hoping to see more from Bell. We were hoping he'd be that attacking kind of left back that we've had before. You know, the likes of Martin and Marcus Olsen, for example. You know, that was the type of left back I was hoping to see. But don't know why we've just not seen that game of of Bell. He he seems to just play. He doesn't seem to do those runs or feel confident doing those runs, and doesn't seem to play to his natural attributes for me. Um, but yeah, I think sadly we're probably going to see Bell leave the club um, in the summer. We've signed Harry Pickering now, so I think we'll either bring an understudy left back from our academy as, as understudy to Harry Pickering, or we could probably get an older, experienced left back as backup for Harry Pickering. But yeah, just not worked out for Bell. Michael Pearson saying that there's bad news from Turf Moor. No oh idea. That must mean they've scored. 
That's um, when you say about left back. I mean, we have got Serena in the under twenty threes as well. So keep up them sort of performances. Then got perfect understudy to just uh, come into the first team at some point. So be nice to rely on our our development squad. And obviously, through our channel, if you do follow Rovers chat, you'll see that a lot of work's done with the academy stuff as well. So um, don't miss that. Some great content there as well. For those of you not watching, QPR did just have a dangerous call and then it was uh, an in-swinger with the left foot and Sam Gallagher um, right on the front post getting rid of it. Um, QPR have now just earned another corner. So QPR have come back at us after yeah. our fairly decent start. Good defensive work from Davenport there. Yeah. We did really well actually to get back and stop that cross from Barber. So going to be another... In swinging corner with a left foot. Again, Gallagher again in that area just in front of the front post. It's been fantastic, really, today. Yeah. He's won everything. See, that there from Davenport, I was a bit anxious then because he's misplaced the pass and he's then gone chasing it. That's the type yeah. of stuff where you get your second yellow card, isn't it? Oh, let's... oh. oh what a block. I think that was Branthwaite. So we'll just see this out and then we'll describe it. So QPR have earned himself a dangerous free kick now on the the left channel, um, just on the corner of the box. But they've crossed the ball in from the right-hand side. It's gone flying across. It's come back to Charlie Austin, of all people. He's central just behind the penalty spot and he's hit it central. So therefore, Branthwaite's been able to get the block. So if he puts yeah, that in yeah. Yeah, we've got away with that. If he puts that in a corner, that's 1-0. So we've got away with that one. Yeah, but, Any, anywhere, anywhere but down the middle there. And he's, he's, he's yeah, he's, he's put us one behind. But dangerous free kick now. I think it's Chair putting it in. It's... Oh. oh. It's 1-0 QPR. Is that it. Barbe? It's Johan oh, Barbe. Yeah. We're going to have to do it the hard way again, I'm afraid. We'll have the Rovers fans. Yeah, so uh, for those of you not watching, so the chair's free kick got whipped in. Um, again, it was another one of those set pieces where Rovers haven't really cleared it. So we'll just look at the replay. Um, uh, Travis has headed it on the back of somebody. It's then popped around a little bit in the six-yard box and falls to Barbe three or four yards out, and he's just stuck it in. So element of fortune there for QPR, yeah. Davenport's actually done a great block and then it's come to Branthwaite who's just reacted instinctively and it's just fallen then for Barbe just to stick that in with an easy chance. So, um, yeah, Rovers... Um, Rovers 1-0 down, I'm afraid, everyone. So, I I'll think... just up update the ticker while you talk, Luke. Sorry. Barbe's got way, way too much time there when the ball first drops and he, he, he plays that ball back. Um and we allow the ball, obviously, then to come back into the six-yard area and it bounces around a bit, comes off Bramfway, and then Barbie is free at that point. And, you know, it, it started with Barbie and ended with Barbie. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not it's, it's not what we've come to expect in the last few games, unfortunately. Well, we have been pretty solid at the back, but we've, um, you know, it, we've, we've took our eye off the ball there. We've let it... Let it get a little bit like pinball, I guess, in the, in the box instead of just clearing the lines and doing the uh, basic stuff. Um, yeah, we're one little down now, and we've just got it. We've got all the hard work to do. Um, we've done it before. It's our Rovers play, but we'll keep you on the attack again here, coming down the left. And um, we've we've got a, a real storm here, and we're we're not weathering it too great. Obviously, now we're one little down, and we're letting them come again. So it's a it's a difficult period, and we're going to have to try and see this out somehow. I'm trying to update this ticker as well, and it's not letting me. I think it was 54 minutes when Barbe scored. Then I've just splashed their dark fruits into my eye as well. This day just keeps getting better. I'm not crying. I promise. <laughs> So it's a corner for QPR now. It's going to come in from the right hand side from chair again, I think. Kaminsky Enough claims they like the in swinger, don't they? Oh, it's a quick break now. Yeah. Kaminsky distribution out to oh, Elliot on the right. Can make sure with that ball. Crossfield switch to Armour. Fuck. 
54. We'll get this ticker going in a minute when I can figure out how it's going to save itself. There we go, save. We'll get the right ticker scrolling now. There we go. We often all think the same, Callum Robinson, but it's the love it's the love that keeps us going on a Saturday. We'll uh, we'll always be here and we'll uh, through thick and thin, we'll uh, we'll get to where we need to be. We're always uh, we're always like this at one 0 down and hopefully hopefully <laughs> this around we've got plenty of time to do it that that is the one positive at the moment we've got half an hour to to change things around a little bit and we're not we're not the uh the golden hour yet where um we have the mowbray uh mowbray tomball as someone called it earlier so i think uh i think ryan what, what do you think about the options off the bench today i mean it's, uh, i think it's going to be I that mean, really change it for us. This formation's got to change for me. Yeah. Um, we, look, we look pretty dangerous towards the end of that first half, but I'm looking at how they're set up there, and you've got Armstrong right on the left hand side. I just want to see him more involved centrally somehow. Um, Dolan is is definitely one you just ooh, oh uh, Dolan you just want you know to take the game to them a little bit. You have got Bradley Dak who can. You know, time is running to the boxes. You know, Dak, Dak and Dolan are two that I'm thinking. And then maybe some direct running from Brierton just to freshen it up a bit as well. Um, just picking up on the goal. FM works unlucky there. Michael Pearson, pinball. And then Burt Whistle, why did Branthwaite not... Uh, Matthew Burt Whistle, why did Branthwaite not boot it out? I think it was one of those, Matthew, where it just comes at you and you just do the first thing and kind of instinctively yeah. paint it, didn't he? It were it were one of those like an, an unforced pinball. It were just uh, just a bit ridiculous, weren't it? Really, it's uh, it's one of them. Like you say, if it, it bounces at you, it bounces anywhere, and unfortunately, it didn't bounce for us that time. Oh, well done, Gallagher! Fantastic work. Un unlucky. Did Ryan say formation change? <laughs> I know that you want. Do you think four four two FM? I know that you're a fan of the four four two. In your defence, Ryan, I don't think we are playing the four three three, and and if we are, I, I can't see why Elliot's playing so centrally. He's playing like something... false nine. It's bizarre. Yeah, there's something about I don't know. I can't put my finger on today's setup. Um, let us know what you think, FM. But there's just something about how we're set up today that's bothering me. I wonder if he'll maybe bring. This is going to be a bit wrong, but I wonder if he would bring Hall with Bellis on and 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 whether they've worked on on the uh, the wing backs and whether now we just go all out attack perhaps and perhaps and have a you know maybe some of our more attacking players as wing backs and rely on our centre halves to give us a bit of width if we're struggling defensively. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know, um, but it looks like something's changing now. Is that Holtby getting ready? I think so. And Steve's just come in. We need Holtby to come on. So you might be getting your wish, Steve. We'll just have a look in a moment. And Ellis, yes, he did pull me up earlier. I was too blase earlier, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, it's late there, Gallagher. And that's four bookings already in this game. I think there's two changes I can see. Can't quite make out who they are. In fact, there's three changes I can see. <laughs> It's not like Morbury, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're bang on the 60 minutes. So, uh, Michael Pearson, take a bow. Tony's Tom Bowler is open for business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. So, we'll see these changes in a moment. Definitely three that I saw. There's really, there is the option for us to really change this game. I think we could. If if Mowbray gets this right now, uh, we could see a really exciting last half hour. So um, fingers crossed, lads. Hold on, hold on to your seats. Oof. So yeah, those of you not watching, um, not too much of a response from Rovers yet from going goal down, but they're going to see a triple change, I think now. So let's have a look. It's Dak Holtby. It's Howard Bellis. Howard Bellis is coming on. So Howard Bellis is on for Nyambi. Is the first change. We have got Lewis Holtby coming on for. Let's have a look. Davenport, I'm going to think. Come on. 
It is Davenport. Lewis Holt be on for Jacob Davenport. And then Bradley Dack is going to be coming off. Rothwell. Joe Rothwell. There he is. The fourth official dropped his notes as I was looking for the electronic scoreboard. So triple sub there for Rovers. Those of those of you not watching, Dak, Howard, Bellis, and Holtby on for Davenport, Nyambi, and Rothwell. Um, we will see what the formation ends up like. Let's have a look. Howard Bellis appears to be on the right. Definitely a back four. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. I wondered if we go to a back three, maybe, and have uh, Harvey Elliott as like a, a wing back with 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 Bell, but it don't look like that, does it? No. So it's definitely four at the back. We'll see what's uh, Elliott's gone left. You can see that now. Armour's definitely central. That's better. Um, Holtby's pressing from a central. That's might. I think this looks and feels like the the four four two we've been used to in recent weeks. I think the four three three. Uh, four three three. Sorry, Luke. Yeah, four three yeah. three. That's because FM Works has got under your skin there. I know. He <laughs> rattled me. Absolutely rattled me. FM. Yeah, back in the comments, FM. <laughs> So half an hour then, hopefully, um, hopefully we can have a response. So let's go back to Joe Harvey's question. So um, people watching in, would you take a draw now from this position? Luke, would you? Oh, absolutely. You'd always take a draw from coming behind. But um, I mean, we, we'd always hope to get three points. But if we can get a draw out of this, I think we've got to say it's a good result. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. what a chance. Who's blocked that? So... Uh, Sensational. I don't I think that was Rob Dickey who blocked it. So ball put in from Harwood Bellis, cleared up, and it's Holby's hit that on the volley. Oh Dieng has saved it, and then it's come to Armstrong central, and Rob Dickey has, has made a superb block. Put his nubs on big chance for Rovers that. And free kick now for uh, for a foul on Dieng from the corner. So Luke, what a block that was from Rob Dickey. Yeah, he's really put his um his family allowance on the line there, aren't he? He's put <laughs> everything. Um, I mean, fantastic block that. You watch what, what you want from your centre half. So I think all the fans of the Super Hoops will be chuffed with that. But, um, you know, we were unlucky there. G great strike from Holtby. Um, comes, out, comes out time strong and did everything right, to be fair. It's a great, great piece of defending. And on top of that, I think we're seeing. Some real, a real positive start from Harwood Bellis. Um, yeah, very, very impressive. Um, more of the same from him. He, he, he looks for someone that hasn't played a great deal of first team football. Just the odd cup tie here and there. He, he, he already looking the real deal. So, um, what Man City fans have been saying about him looks to be ringing true. So more of the same, please. The Rovers got the ball on the turnover now. So Elliot's driving. Here we go. Uh, oh, lovely one I uh, dragged the shot good link up there between Armstrong and Elliot but Armstrong's dragged the shot wide of the left post yeah Luke when I spoke to Lewis from the City Extra pod the other day he was quite surprised when I described him as playing centre back or right back because they've not really seen him at right back too much so I hope that Mowbray doesn't pigeonhole, you know, pigeonhole him into right back just to not have to drop Branthwaite or Lenihan if that makes sense um, it'd be interesting if he does do that because I think then, I mean that is that is a risky tactic given given the Ambi's contract running down. Um, yeah. that, that's one way to really then force a player's hand. So um, if he, if he does do that, then he's got to have something up his sleeve, I guess. Um, maybe Joe Rankin Costello is his, his long term um, hope. Maybe that's evidence that. That Niambi isn't signing a contract and what's going on behind closed doors. Um we, we obviously don't don't know that. Um so it'd be be interesting to see how that one pans out actually over the next few months. Um yeah. given the contract situation, of course. So yeah. Rover's free kick here, got a chance to put the ball in the box from deep. Elliot's put it in. Oh Dieng oh. just just retrieves the ball, Dieng. Good good goalkeeping there. 
it was good because yeah, his centre back was right in the way of him there. So yeah. he's done well to retrieve that. That was Dicky yeah. in his way. <laughs> FM Works is pointing out Peterborough's pitch. I'll check that one out, FM. Um, I guess they're getting bombarded with rain, are they? <laughs> So what are you thinking then, Luke? Um, well, it looks like Elliot's gone central again now after all of that. I don't understand this. I, I, I understand maybe that we want to have a bit of fluidity in the front three, and, and but we've just seen Adam Armstrong centrally, and 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 having him and Elliot playing close off one another is is where we're most dangerous. So I don't understand this. I don't um, want Bradley Dak there getting. Dak there, so for people not watching, Bradley Dak has just gone and got the ball off Branthwaite at the centre-back area and was the deepest yeah. player for a moment there. So I do not want Dak getting the ball from there. No, absolutely that, not. That needs and, to be Holby and Travis. You know, Dak's game is breaking into the box late. So he needs and, to be advanced. And this way, Armstrong, he's playing He's playing so wide that we, we, we can't... See. He's just not playing off the shoulder where he's most... It's like now he's, he's picked the ball up in a really wide left position. Hopefully he can cut inside here. Go on, Bell. Oof. Ducky. Yes. Oh! oh! What a save from the end. So, uh, Luke and I after moaning about Armstrong on the left. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Armstrong manages to break down the left-hand side, kind of check in a little bit. Um, the ball goes into Dak in a central area, back to Armstrong, and it looks like it's been curled into the top right corner. And Dieng has just made a sensational save to tip it over, and the Rovers' corner came to nothing. I thought that one was in, Luke. Yeah, oh, that as well. But I mean, it's a great strike. Don't get me wrong, but for me, um, my opinion is still that I, I'm as most, especially with these that are, you know aren't the paciest back three. Um, I'm still most dangerous playing off the shoulder. Um, yeah, we can have strikes like that outside the box all day long, but when you've got a keeper like Dieng that's such a good shot stopper, I'd sooner have Armstrong in one-on-one -on -one and maybe be a little bit more cute to, to get a finish. So. <laughs> RJ is asking you if you're in a shed, Luke, but I don't think you are, are you? I think it's just something... <laughs> no, um, I'll see if I can uh, maybe get... It's just a, a little pallet effect wall... Um, in, in the orange, <laughs> there we are. There's, there's, a, tour, there's a tour of a vessel. <laughs> and now, Fuez, we use StreamYard um, to do these live streams, and it works really well for us. See, I'm going to back into, into position there. <laughs> so, it's too much excitement for half past four, that. <laughs> Okay, putting the ball. That's it. Far more controlled. Well, this is where um, this is where we're dangerous. Oh, Elliot on the ball here. Ah, uh, spot too soon. <laughs> oh, we're just we we're, we're not we're not stringing any amount of passes together at the moment, really. It's getting into advanced positions and we're we're not making perhaps the, the correct decision at times. Yeah, there, Bell. Well oh, done. Yeah. Good defending there from Amari Bell. There's a chance for Todd Kane to get in behind him, but stuck to the task well. Oh, Ducky. <laughs> Bell did really well with his uh, defensive duties initially there, but then... Uh, I, mean, I think maybe where Barry Douglas then has the experience to to offer Bramthwaite an option, Bell didn't do that and left Bramthwaite a little bit stranded. So we ne we nearly um, got caught out after, like I say, some great defensive work from Bell. So it's just following it up then. Dax clear. Uh, did you see it? it? Hit the top of the stand. And came <laughs> come back in. <laughs> go on, Dak. Here we go. Right. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 oh that dog got in. <laughs> so, um, 
Oh. In a minute, when QPR have just finished this, tried chipping Kaminsky from the halfway <laughs> line. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Armstrong again has gone down that left hand side and making me and Luke look like a fool, saying that he shouldn't be playing down that left. But he's then crossed the ball in, and Dieng for, has made his first mistake. Really, it's an easy claim for Dieng. His centre back maybe just got in his way, but the ball's bounced off Dieng and. Really, well, it's a good block again from the centre back just to stop Gallagher from tapping it into the empty net. So, big let off for QPR there, I think. Harvey Elliott's just gone down now. He's just took a knock after a 50 50 with Jeff Cameron, I think that was. Mm. Rovers fans, let us know what you're thinking about the game. Can you see Rovers grabbing an equaliser? How are you feeling? It'll teach us all for being positive before the game. <laughs> Team happy clapper. <laughs> oh dear. To be fair, there weren't many, if any, negative predictions today. Um, on the pre-stream, there was a lot of confidence. And I just I just got the sense that because of the transfer deadline and yeah. players coming back, it, it just felt like we were riding that wave and, and going to be better. It's QPR making a double sub here. I think it's Macaulay Bond, possibly one of them. Charlie Austin coming off, that's good. Yeah, Austin's off, Macaulay Bond is off. Um, we'll tell you the other sub in a moment. Um, Ellis, there is 17 minutes left on mine and Luke's stream. In real life, probably about 16, 15 minutes left because we're slightly behind so that we can all watch this together. The other sub for QPR, let's just see who's coming off. Stephen Johansson's coming off. And Batash is coming on for QPR. Callum did predict 1 1. So, Callum, you could be in the Hall of Fame a bit later. Tyrese Dolan is coming on for Rovers. Just snuck on there in place of Sam Gallagher. So, Tyrese Dolan is on now. Did you see him on the news yesterday, Luke? He came. Yeah, across... fantastic, isn't it? I mean, um, you know, the position he's in as a, as a young lad, he's. You know, prospering as a footballer, he's had this big move. He's doing really well in the championship, and you know, he's he's got a his best mate that he's he's come through. You know, the, the footballing ranks with as such, and he's known him for a long while. You know, and uh, for, for for what to happen happen is uh, such a sad thing, and he's dealt with it with such maturity. He speaks so well. Um, you no know, credit credit to his family and credit to himself, um, and, and long may and continue. Um, prospering as a footballer and, and as a man off the pitch as well. Um, I think he's a he's a fantastic human being and a really talented footballer. So um, can't say enough. Speak well, speak highly enough of uh, Tyrese Dolan, really. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And I think football oh, is he not giving that? Probably a free kick, surely. Yeah, I was going to say um, footballers obviously get a bad rep, don't they? Yeah. In terms of you know flash cars and and all of that type of stuff, but. Tyrese Dolan for, you know, what is he, 19 years old, 19, 20, to, to speak the way that he does. Um, he's just given footballers an even better name. So, brilliant lad. Um, mm -hmm. Michael Pearson's decided he'll take a point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin is anxious, would best describe the current dealings within. FM says Dolan will give it all here, great future. Matthew Burtwistle, two on Rovers, late goals. Come on, Matthew. Um, and then, yeah, Callum, top man is Dolan. Did you manage to get your stream going again, Callum? I know your iPad died earlier. i tell you what, there's some game going on at Newcastle Southampton as well. That one's 3-2 to the home three side. 3-2. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. I went Martinez as my goalkeeper today. I was thinking, <laughs> McCarthy after are they going to keep a clean sheet? And then I went Martinez. <laughs> I think McCarthy's between my pins, unfortunately. <laughs> you didn't have Bednarek, the... no, did. did you have Bednarek? Triple captain didn't, mate. <laughs> no, I, I didn't, I didn't. Uh, something I'd do, to be honest. But luckily not. To be honest, though, it's the way to get the best triple captain if you can do it when no one else does it. Yeah, so, absolutely. QPR just 
fashioned a little chance for himself there. It's been cleared away now. Who's down? For a... He's down injured. It doesn't look good, this, actually. Lewis Holtby is down, holding, looks like the back of his knee, bottom I'm of the hand. Yeah. We'll see how he is. Yeah, I've um, um, a fellow that I used to work with down on the south coast. He follows he follows Pool Town, but he's a QPR fan. He's from East London. He uh, he um, said to me earlier that he's, he won't be watching the game because he's not a, a masochist. Um, he, 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 he doesn't want to watch QPR because it only ever brings him <laughs> you know, pain. So uh, no, um, like you said earlier, I think not a lot of people expected maybe. Rovers to be in this position that we're in now at 1 0 down. It's, um, yeah, here we go. It's a, it's a big 10 minutes, big 15, 10, 10 15 minutes. Cristobal Munoz, um, from Chile. Hello to you. Yes. Um, Hello. You, have, you have just commented at the perfect time. He's just come on as a substitute, Ben Brereton or Brereton, however you want to pronounce it. Maybe we can pronounce it the Chilean way. Um, has Holtby just gone off there? I didn't quite see that. Did Holtby go? Um, I didn't know. Where, I don't know whether it were Holtby, maybe then for for Brayton. Let's just have a look. So Brayton's gone left now. Armstrong has gone into the centre now. Dolan, I'm assuming, is right. So let's just see what happens here. Uh, I think Holtby's gone. Yeah, I think it was yeah. Holtby's gone. So Elliot has gone into that centre midfield area now. Yeah, I think I think this could do us a, a lot better here. Um, I think we've got players playing in in the favoured positions now, rather than forcing um, Armstrong out wide. So I think hopefully we can uh, we can see a little bit more joy here now with with Dolan on the right and Brayton on the left. Oh, clash of heads there! I think Howard yeah. Bellis has, has headed him. So, Cristobal, um, do you want to see Ben Brereton play for Chile? Let us know. Um, I'd like to think that, um, I mean, you get the opportunity to watch him play because this season he's been, he really has been fantastic. He's uh, he's come on leaps and bounds. I'm pretty sure that maybe in previous seasons, Ben Brereton's not the, not the player that's been, you know, on the lips of, of Chileans, but he's certainly, certainly come to the forefront of certainly people who follow the championship this, this season. Yeah. Looking really good. So the game's just stopped everyone at the moment, for those of you not watching. So Lyndon Dykes is the player down for QPR, went up for a header with Howard Bellis and a bit unlucky for Lyndon Dykes. Howard Bellis has just ended up head in the back of his head and he's come off worse mm. on that one. Howard Bellis is fine. But Dykes is is certainly down, and there's a bit of concern for him from the QPR guys. So there is a stoppage here, so that's going to add on some stoppage time at the end, most certainly. Yeah, for those of you with us now, we're going to be doing our post match stream as usual, as we usually do. It'll kick off at about five fifteen. Probably a good time to plug one of your jokes, Ryan. Now is it? A joke? Yeah. What else could I say? <laughs> I need to rem honestly, my um, I need to remember some of these one-liners. I can't think. My granddad always used to tell me a Christmas one: two snowmen stood in a field. One says to the other, "Can you smell carrots?" That always used to make me chuckle. <laughs> Brilliant! Brilliant! <laughs> yeah, I think we could be in for a late finish today because it is a. Looking like a lengthy stoppage, this one. Yeah. He's certainly come off worse, that's for sure. I'm going to uh, going to apologise now, guys, for uh, bringing up the, um, the history of results at Loftus Road. Um, it's come to bite us now. It's... it's... <laughs> It's looking like a big, big 10 minutes needed from the boys to turn this one around. Yeah, certainly is. For those of you that are going to join us for post-match, it'll be about half past five, we're thinking, for the post-match stream, actually. So um, if you've got your notifications on, if you subscribe to us, you'll get that notification when we do go live. 
if we can start before then, then we will do. But we'll just get the turnaround from this watch along and, and get the panel we've got. You're on that as you're on the post match, aren't you, Luke? I am, yeah. It's uh, it's been a straight through this afternoon, hasn't it? It'll be uh, yeah. You know, I'm just you know, obviously we're watching the game now, and it's it's difficult to comment too much. So we can uh, we can all come together after the after the game, whatever the result is, we'll break it down. We'll have a good chat about it, and if it is a loss, we'll feel a lot better about it. If we can turn it around, we can. Uh, have a big celebration and a party and start Saturday night as, as it needs to be started. Absolutely. Yeah, oh. it'll be, um, so it'll be me and Luke. Joe's going to be back, so it'll be good to have Joe back on uh, on the panel. And then we've got Jonathan Secker as well, who you probably all saw on the Transfer Deadline Day show. Um, he did a top job with that, did Jonathan. So, um, yeah, me, Jonathan, Joe and Luke at about half past five. FM works. <laughs> <laughs> Two muffins in an oven. One says to the other, "Wow, it's hot in here." The other says, "Ah, a talking muffin." Ah, <laughs> uh, um, we might have known that um, the first watch one would be a loss. I think the first post-match live stream we did was the Watford game as well, which was also a loss. So, start with we mean to go on. Yeah, I think yeah. Michael's right there, isn't he? We've 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 had the chances, but. Um, Certainly, that one, the the the, the dicky, the dicky block, and the the Dieng save. Um, yeah, the the Elliot chance is is the big one for me. With how that first half went, yeah. you know, we didn't have that big chance. And for a player like Elliot, you know, with the technical ability he's got, I'm, I'm surprised he skied it actually. Yeah, I mean, he had a lot of time as well in the six yard box, didn't he? When when that ball came, so. Um, Maybe rushed it when he didn't need to, really. Oh, oh that's a bad touch. So, for those of you not watching, we're at 83 minutes now. Um, just coming up to the 83rd minute and 30 seconds. So, there is going to be some stoppage time because of the Lyndon Dykes injury and a few subs. So, probably about five minutes added on, I reckon, Luke. Yeah, I'd expect something like that, to be honest. That's a good win oh, from Howard oh. Bellis. He's doing really well here, Howard Bellis. Um, yeah. I think uh, I think he could start um, on Friday. I just don't know in what capacity it's going to be. Whether, like you said, whether he fancies him as a right back now, I, d I really don't know. That's thrown a spanner in the works. And I know, he were, you know Mowbray did mention that in the week about... Him being an option at right back, um, we shall see. He's certainly not going to um, push Lenny off the perch at this point. So it's it's whether it's in a free or at right back. Just having a bit of a spell of possession now in the QPR half. So this is good. We're popping it about a bit. Good work, Wilson, yeah. Good play. The ball oh, oh, Howard Bellis gonna get that back in. Just being patient now, Rovers. Good possession in the final third here. It's really patient stuff. Brambwaite's now got it on that left wing. So we're quite advanced. Oh, wow. unlucky. Shame. I do well, do well in the end. Yeah, shame it ended like that. Just a bit of a miscontrol from Brereton, but um, got a throw in now deep in their half. Yeah, Brereton losing the ball there, but did well to win a throw in in an attacking position. But we've gone back right back now to Lenian and building from the back. We're starting to play more of that football that we've we've grown to. To get used to, um, yeah. but it's it's come, you know, it's come with five minutes to go. Go on, Brad. Oh, I think QPR are probably set fair now. Um, I didn't see if Lyndon Dykes went off there, so they potentially only got Bon on yeah. the pitch up there. So Dykes back on. I'm not sure. So they're probably just going to let us have the ball a bit. I mean, we've got to do better. We're crossing like that, so. 
That was Harwood Bellis, so unlucky. He's probably yeah. better at this stage. Just pick up some of the comments here. So FM works, Luke. We should play 5-3-2 attacking wingbacks Friday, in my opinion. Maybe Howard Bellis um, in a DM role, Nyambi and Bell stay. Uh, hopefully Barry Douglas is back by that point, FM. Um, Douglas, do you think Douglas could do a left wing back role, Luke? Yeah, I think I, I think it's perfect for him because he's, he, um, he's someone that always, I mean, when he does anything... Um, you know, his, be his best stuff, let's say, comes when he's got a yard of space in front of him. That's how he likes to play. He doesn't play tight to players. He always likes to have that yard of space in front of him. And, and you can see that he's, he's clever in how he positions himself and how he gets into um, attacking positions as well. Um, certainly not very different to Harry Pickering that we've seen in, in recent pictures with it, you know, gets close to players and, and, and tries to run past them and, you know, maybe drives into the channels. Um, Brett Barry Douglas, you know, has that yard of um, space in front of him, and if he can get forward, he'll get crosses in. So I think as a wing back, he'll probably do quite well. And Nyambi is very good at that anyway. I think if we have the three of maybe Howard Bellis on the on the right of um, Lennihan and and Branthwaite, that's that's a pretty good back three really. And then yeah. it's how how we set up in front of it, whether we we go with a a wide front three or you know a box four. Um, certainly, this game I think with in the first half not having it has has been a real real problem. Um, so we've got a a chance here. So we've just earned a free kick fairly deep into the QPR half on the right channel wide. Um, so a chance to put the ball in. Um, Good work from Dole. Yeah, and Gareth really need points from these games. You know, we did point out QPR three wins from four themselves before the game, but you know, a team in seventeenth. Yeah, you're right. You know, these are the games that, that you've got to win. So, still a chance. So, Elliot's going to put the ball in now, and that is very, very, very poor from from Harvey Elliot. Surprised with that. It's all for everyone. I mean, there's, yeah. there's absolutely no one in that in that area that he's put the ball there. It's, I think um, I can't speak highly enough of Harvey Elliott this season. He's been absolutely fantastic. But today, his he's, he's final ball um, has, has been really quite poor. I mean, one of the one of the guys in the in the stats department maybe will, will be able to get some numbers up. But from what I've seen, he's he's, he's not had a, a lot of accurate attacking passes at all today. No. Uh, and Lewis uh, Howard Bellis has come on. Um, I think he came on about 70 minutes, I think it was. I'm just watching this. Oh, a oh, little snapshot from Brayton there, just on the volley, on the turn. Think back to that chance that Bradley Dack had against Shrewsbury at home a few seasons ago where it came back off the post. It was like one of those for Brayton, just kind of over his shoulder. And on the volley, and it's just gone straight at the end, so a bit unlucky. But um, Lewis Howard Bellis has he's looked okay since he's come on. You know, he's making his his first appearance for Rovers. He's had a couple of neat touches and tried to get down that right hand side. And time wise, we are now at the ninety minute mark. I'm afraid, Lewis. Uh, we will just see how long he's added on. We thought about five minutes, six minutes added on. I think the three is beyond us. The three is beyond us, but we've you know maybe got enough to just get, just get a get an equaliser. We're going to have to push on. Yeah, and Kevin Bradshaw, thank you. It was a Doma that came on for for Dykes, I think. Ah, uh, so you've seen it in the comments as well today, and um, that. Um, you know we've we, we've not been great, but we've certainly been better than the Luton game, and it just shows in the championship, doesn't it? That you know performances don't always get you the points. I mean, QPR have been good today, and they've been well worth a point um, at, at, at the least. So we can't complain. It's not it's not been our best day at the races today. Certainly for for most of that first half. Yeah. 
I think it was, um, I think it might have been Ollie that said it on the pre-stream that you kind of have luck in a season, don't you, when you yeah. come up against teams at the right point. So you're playing QPR now at a point where they're three wins in four. I think back to Nottingham Forest at home and we're playing them just as they've got Chris Hewton and the writing's on the wall. So sometimes you do need the fixtures just to land your way a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good work from Bell. Bell. Got down. Oh, didn't get down. It's a bit of composure there from Branthwaite. Just panicked a little bit on the edge of the box. Trav's going to try and get us started again. Oh, dear. Oh, much composure. Dear, oh, dear. Have you given that? No. Branthwaite, uh, for those of you not watching, Branthwaite just looked a little shaky there. He got the ball just on the halfway line and we're pressed forward, tried a little turn. Um, and, and Adoma robbed him of the ball and he's, he's a lucky boy, particularly with how far Kaminsky's off his line. So, good play, Dara. Dara's up. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's up in that right back area, Dara, at the moment. Dolan, bit of trickery. Good play, oh, Tari. Well, no. Did really well to, to even get in the position that he did there. Yeah. Fantastic trickery. Um, unlucky in the end. We oh, did cool. a little nutmeg. Just, yeah, just stretching for the ball in the end. So we're into the final three minutes of the six stoppage time. Well, we lot safe anyway today. Yay. There were no cheering and flipping this chair or anything like that. <sighs> Blackburn Rovers, they uh, do this to us all the time, don't they? <laughs> yeah. You can't win them all. Come on, let's push on for this last three. Some good work now down this right hand side. A lot of this a lot of the good stuff's been coming down the right recently. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, again. Again. Good win from Branthwaite there. Armour's on. Oh, no. There's another pure pass that from Harvey Elliott again. It's, it's just not been his day at all today, unfortunately. No, I think he's given Daki offside there. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping we'd celebrate a goal at least, Luke. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Oh. Well, the weather's not great either, so we can't talk about that. So, No, it is really starting to come down now as well, where I am. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this watch along though. As I say, we kind of made a bit yeah. of a last minute decision to do it today. So let us know how you found it and how it's gone with, you know, the syncing of the stream to, to what you guys are doing. We'll happily do some more. So yeah, let us know. see you again. Absolutely. Yeah. Let us know if you've enjoyed it, guys. And we'll do, if you've enjoyed the watch along, then we'll do, you know, a revised pre-match show with oh. the watch along for future weeks. So let us know if you've enjoyed how we've done it. That's a... Uh... An interesting choice there from Harwood Bell. This is on the edge of the box. There's no power on the cross at all. And he tries to generate a header that's never, ever going to test the goalkeeper from there, unfortunately. So the sinking's been good. That's good. So, yeah, what we were thinking is um, we'll probably end up doing the pre-show at maybe about half past two. So it'll be a shortened pre-match stream that goes straight into the watch along. So we'll probably have a small panel of people on the pre-match, just do the little preview like we've been doing and then do the watch along. Chance no, 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 two nil. Two, oh, no. Oh, oh it was offside, offside. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll probably just amend it slightly, a little pre-stream um, into the watch along. QPR there nearly sealed the points. Um, he was offside, Kaminsky was out of his goal, lobbed it over him and that's what we thought was going on. We are at Hail Mary stage now. It's going to need something. It's got to go in the box now. It's got to go in the box. That's it. It's full time. 
full time, I'm afraid, Rovers fans. It is a 1 0 defeat in our first watch along, which is a shame. <sighs> I'm a man of honour, so I will just update the banner. Um, <laughs> Rovers fans, let us know your initial thoughts. Um, we'll do it in a bit more detail, obviously, when we do do the post match stream, but just initial thoughts from everyone. There we go, full time. Luke, sum up how you're feeling straight away, mate. Uh, I think at 90 minutes when you've got beat, it's always disappointment. So I think we need to just get get into the post stream, break it all down. I think if all you boys can join us as well and we can you know, talk things through, see how we are, try not to be too reactionary about it and um, and take it from there, I guess. It's uh, it's tough, isn't it, when you get beat, especially especially given how the, you know this fixture was for us on the back of Bournemouth getting beat and you know and sacking the manager, six being in attainable uh, attainable position at this point. Um, realistically, um, you know it's a long season and we'll pick points up. We can't win them all, um, but it's just real unfortunate that we've you know gone from a win in January to to lose on the first game in Feb. But absolutely, it's not it's not the worst performance in the world, but it it, it, it certainly wasn't our best today. No, and I'm just looking at the um, the live table. So Rovers still in eighth place on 39 points uh, from our 27 games played. We're one point behind Middlesbrough on 40 points in seventh. And we're six points behind Bournemouth we're on 45 points in sixth place. Um, we do have the game in hand on Bournemouth. That game in hand is, of course, against Swansea. So that's going to be a difficult one for us to win at home. But again, you know, I was talking, Luke, about when is the right time to play teams. Mm. Who knows what run of form Swansea might be in at that point in March when mm. that fixture is replayed. If we catch them at the right time, who knows? Pretty yeah. certain had we played them when the fixture should have gone ahead, it would have been a tough prospect, yeah. absolutely. So let's they see. Went last night, didn't they? So they're on a good run of form. There's no doubt about that. So let's pick up the comments. Um, some good feedback on the streams. Thank you guys for the feedback on um, on how it's been. Thank you, Rick. Um, thank you, Ethan. Cheers, RJ. Just it's just good to get the feedback from you guys about how it is. Steve, streaming with the game has been great. Uh, Matthew, the Burnley score was one-one. Lewis, the result is very frustrating. Michael, hope people aren't too doom and gloom. Nineteen, yeah, yeah. There's nineteen games left. Yeah, there's a lot of football to play. Um, if we can win that game in hand, you know, it looks different, doesn't it? But that'll be a tough game. But on to the next one now. A um, little bit of pressure on that Preston game, but let's see. Um, Ethan, tell you what, I'm sick of the old lads from work who expect us to be the best team in the country. Jack Holmes, one of the better performances of the year so far. One of the worst results of the year. Um, RJW, too many systems and personnel changes for me. Yeah, we'll touch on that in the post stream, I think, RJ. It was uh, the first half, the formation just looked a bit strange. I'm, I'm going to ask Joe that when we do the post-match stream, see what Joe picked up from the formation and things like that. But um, just something didn't seem quite right with how we were set up and particularly having those three against their three. I don't know. I couldn't quite put my finger on it today. Nah Fuez actually is a QPR fan. So good result for you there, Nah. We will uh, we'll shake your hand on that result. You know, well played to QPR. Um, Dashcam Lance, form well, creating chances and pressing high. We just weren't clinical enough on the final third. Callum. Awesome. Look forward to another one. Yeah, we'll probably be here now. If, if you've enjoyed it, we'll probably do another one. So we'll get the details out for the Friday night game against Preston. We'll probably do it as a two-man like this. I think this worked pretty well, didn't it, Luke? Just having two. Yeah, yeah. Probably won't is. take oh. Then, Matthew, thank you for the stream as well. So, yeah, I think we will end it there, Luke. So um, we will be starting the post-match stream um, very shortly, between quarter past five and half past five. So go and replenish your drinks, go and get some food, do what you need to do. It's going to be me, Luke, Joe and Jonathan on the stream. Looking forward to having Joe back with us. I've missed him and uh, yeah. Jonathan with us as well. <laughs> Jonathan with us uh, from the deadline day exploits as well. So we'll do that. But, um, yeah, thank you all for your interactions. We will leave you, as we usually do, with our sponsor message from sixyardsout.com. 
enjoy the little half an hour period that you've got. We'll get into the, the thick of it in about half an hour on the post-match live stream. See you later. Hi, I'm Craig Conway, and you can check out my chat with the 1875 podcast on Monday the 8th of February at 5pm. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.